Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the News Today WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5 and version 104 of the News Today theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of the News Today theme. To install the free News Today theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the Appearance section. Click the Add New link and search for News Today in the search field. One word, no spaces. Hover the theme and click the Install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars, but I recommend that you remove all those default widgets. Now let's look at the theme's demo and see what content is displayed on the homepage. Right after that, I will show you how to set up every part of it. In the header, we have a website logo and the primary menu. The first section on the homepage is the Featured Posts area, which is used to display four hand-picked posts. The most recent post is larger than the other three. These posts can be shown from a category of choice or using a specific tag. After that comes a widgetized area that is suitable for some advertising. It separates the featured posts from the recent posts section. News Today displays posts in a two columns layout. The website's footer is divided into three widgetized columns of equal width. The sidebar is 300 pixels wide, which means it works great with the most popular ad sizes. Now let's look at every section separately and see how to set them up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity tab. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, the UI will offer you to crop the image or you can skip cropping to use the full area of the chosen file. Many users don't notice the Skip Cropping button. The News Today theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. To set up the Featured Posts section, open the Customize page and then open the Theme Settings tab. You can enable or disable the Featured Posts section. From here, you can select which posts should be displayed, either posts from a category or posts that have a specific tag. Please note that if you select a tag, then your category selection will be ignored. Set the tag to None if you want to use a category instead. Now let's look at the other available theme settings. You can switch to one of the eight theme styles that come with a theme. You can choose the position of the main sidebar, on the left or on the right. There are three settings for archive pages. You can hide the post offer, category, and date. For posts, you can enable or disable the Offer Biography block. By default, it appears at the end of a post content. You can also control the appearance of featured images inside of posts. And finally, on Category Archive Pages, you can choose to display or hide a Category RSS feed.
Here's what you can do if you have more questions about this theme. You can use the community support forums on wordpress.org to post your questions or leave a review for the theme. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.